in this video you're going to learn how to implement Redux with React okay uh, at this point if you've been following along with my tutorial series we have already installed Redux, Redux Thunk, Redux Logger although Redux Logger is optional but uh, that is helpful okay and the next uh, one now you need to install is npm install react redux so you need to install this package guys so that you know redux can work with react okay brilliant so once you've done that then you need to create a component okay so let me just set this up quickly so guys now I already have my react uh, set up uh, I have app.js in which we have this um, component okay so now we, what we need to do is we need to create store.js where we'll keep our store okay and we, I'm just using all of the codes that we had created earlier okay and I'm just gonna move that them into individual files so all of this while we have been using it in the same file now I'll, I'll move them into the individual files so I'm gonna create a components directory then I'll create one for reducers I will create one for actions okay brilliant now let's move things so we would need reducer to go inside reducer so inside reducer I can create index.js and just put it here and then do an export default reducer okay and let's just import it inside of our store import reducer from reducers okay and um, we can get rid of subscribe we don't need that then we have our actions so I'll just take this action and put that into actions and I can name it as post actions and just put it here and I'm just going to export okay let's leave that for now I can just say export default get user data okay and I'm not going to dispatch it I'll just comment it for now I'm going to trigger that uh, dispatch from the react component okay brilliant so let's see what we have here we have the initial state so that's fine we have the thunk we have the logger we have reducer okay all set so all I've done is uh, whatever we had done in the previous video I have just broken them into their individual files I'm broken this you know put those codes into the individual file so inside store we have the store and I can just do an export default store so I can consume it uh, inside of my component okay so this is my store uh, I've imported create store and apply middleware for thunk and logger okay and then I've imported my reducer over here uh, I've initialized state and then I've created store using create store method uh, with reducer as the first parameter second one is initial state and third one is middleware I'm just exporting this store okay so if you want to use this with react uh, how do we do it so guys I'm inside of my app component what I need to do is I want the store to be available to all the components inside of app okay so for that Redux provides us with a component called provider okay and I think yeah and it will import it from react Redux so react Redux has a component called provider all I have to do is just wrap my main component which is app component inside of provider okay and I also need to pass store inside of it so we know that we have stored uh, sorry we have store inside of store.js and we have exported that from there so I can just import it here import store from store.js and I just need to pass store in with the provider 
so that it's available to all the components inside of this so any component that you put over here can consume this store and get access to all all of the, all of the information all of the data inside of the store so let's create a component called home.js okay and uh, we'll say import react from uh, react and let's make a class based component class um, home extends react dot component okay and then we'll say render return and just return some information like this is home and then export default home okay so what we need to do is basically we need to provide the store to my component so how do I do that for that Redux provides us with something called connect and that's available in react redux so react redux library allows us to connect between react and redux so connect is nothing but a higher order component okay. so as you can see guys this connect function takes four parameters first is map state to props second is map dispatch to props merge props and then options now these parameters are optional because you can see that you don't have to pass all the parameters all of the four are optional okay so but we will go ahead with the first one okay so if you go to our home okay uh, instead of passing this home I can just do connect as we have imported connect on top and then it takes first parameter as map state to props I can pass that as a function okay and whatever you return from this function will be set will be available to this component as props okay so, so we can say posts store okay we will have store available over here you can also call this state because it's a state of the redux store but uh, for now i'll just put store okay store dot posts all right so it's an object so let's just take it like this okay and it takes the second parameter as the name of the component so what this is going to do basically is the first parameter uh, whatever you're going to return from it will be injected as props into this component so this is a higher order component it's just like your uh, it's actually uh, currying a function okay so if you must have seen if you can write a function like add num is equal to a parameter a then parameter b and then returns a plus b okay so which means if you had to call this function you can call it like this a and this would actually uh, in fact instead of a you can part, pass this number two okay so if you do this this is going to return this function okay and then you can call second parameter as for b you can write two then you will get a plus b okay so this currying function basically uh, are used for functional programming and uh, it allows you to take one parameter at a time instead of taking all parameter okay so this is as good as this is basically is taking the first parameter returning this particular function uh, in return okay this that's how currying works you can check more information online for that but uh, that's how the currying is working so it is not taking uh, all the parameter at once it's taking the this parameter here okay so it takes function first and then it returns uh, an enhanced component basically it's not going to change anything in this component it's just going to return this component by injecting props into it so now this will be available as this dot props dot posts over here like this and I can do a console log for that okay there are more information available over here as well you can check it out 
uh, for example you can write this like const map state usually people do like this okay map state to props and then you write like this and then you just pass this map state to props over here okay like this so but let's keep it for now the same okay there are other uh, maps so this one is done uh, and second parameter is actually an object so I don't want to get into this too much guys uh, you can go through this I will go ahead and create a separate video for uh, connect because it's a higher order component and there's a lot of information that you can actually get over here so I can go through all of this into another separate tutorial completely okay so let's stick to this for now needs to return Right. so whatever you return over here will be available to your component which is connecting uh, with Redux this will be available to you as props which means if I go over here and say this dot props dot posts note that I've named this as posts let's see what we get okay uh, of course I need to import this home inside of my app component which is my main component and let's try this okay so currently I don't have anything guys is because I haven't triggered the actions right remember that I have commented out my actions let me see I have commented out this right that's why I'm not able to see that okay so this is basically this get user data is not being called guys so we need to call it first okay so how do we call it since we are exporting it here my react component can go ahead and import it import and we can say where is it get user data okay inside of my home component I can just say get user data um, yeah no, that's fine say get user okay I can do export default or I can just do export export const over here okay and now it should be available get user data brilliant okay and if we were using export default then I didn't have to use this curly braces guys okay the reason why I have used export const guys because then I can have multiple actions over here okay it doesn't have to be just this one so I can have multiple action creators over here great so all I have to do is just call this method so where do I call this method I think the best place to call it will be component dead mount and I can say this dot props dot get user data let's see if we get something we have a bunch of errors let's see okay guys so what we need to do is let's get rid of this first okay what do we have in this dot props let's see so in this dot props we have post currently it's empty because we haven't triggered the actions okay and then we have a dispatch method available the reason what why it wasn't working because I didn't call the dispatch so I need to say this dot props dot dispatch because remember in the post actions you had to dispatch it and currently we have a dispatch method available in in the props so I can do dot dispatch and, and you know call that method so I can dispatch the action all I have to do is just say get user data over here and let's try this now again we got an error it's not a function like this let's see yep brilliant awesome so you can see now the 
action has been dispatched all of these actions are dispatched because this is the action creator and because we are using thunk we have the multiple actions that multiple asynchronous actions that we can dispatch so there are three actions that are dispatched we are dispatching this particular uh, action creator using uh, this dot props dot dispatch because inside of the uh, this dot props we have the dispatch method available and the reason why it's available is because we are connecting to the Redux store using the connect method. We are connecting uh, the Redux store with our component home. And whatever we return inside of the this function, which is the first parameter, will be available to you as this dot props. So we are passing store dot posts, and that's why we have this information available. Okay, so we have dispatch, we have posts available. So great perfect so let's make it more happening okay so what we can do is instead of doing this inside of component did mount I can actually trigger this with an event let's say I create a button over here I say button button uh, get posts. I'm naming it as get post, and I will say on click this dot handle on click. Okay, and over here I will say handle on click arrow function, and I will call this dot props dot dispatch over here when the button is clicked. So what will happen is when the user clicks on this uh, button which is get posts then the method dispatch will be called and uh, this will dispatch the action and that will in turn you know trigger these dispatches which is loading and then getting this post API and then you know this dispatch will be called it will be loaded and the payload will be filled with the data and then my reducer which is basically here my reducer will check what type it is if it's loading it's going to give that information if it's loaded then it will give me the uh, post information in action.payload and that is the information that will be uh, given to me inside of the this dot props inside of my home component and then I can use it so what we can do is we can create a function which says render posts and the job of which will just be to check if the data is available which is posts are available and then just return it okay so we can check that const post data is equal to this dot props so notice that we have posts available so this dot props dot posts okay and we check if we've got the data which means if post data dot length then we just return we do post data we map it dot map we map through each item the array because that's an array uh, say post and then we just say ul li and in ul we say key because it requires a unique key and post has an id So if you check post you get 100 posts and post has an ID and it's an array of objects okay so that's why post dot ID which is this okay and then I'm just going to say post dot title okay so I'll get the title I won't display the body we can do that later or okay or if you want to do it I can do it actually Instead of ally, I can have um, it's six tag. Or let's just display the title for now. We can display the body later. Okay, great. And then all I have to do is just call this method over here. This dot render post, and let's see what happens. Uh, functions are not valid as a React child. This may happen. Okay, I have to use this brilliant so currently I don't have any item because I have not called the dispatch the dispatch will be called 
once the button is clicked so let's click the button and sure enough you can see you've got the entire data so what just happened when this button is clicked which is this get post this method is called handed on click this is going to call dispatch an action which is get user data inside of this we are dispatching first action which is loading it when the type is set to loading I'll red a reducer will be notified and in reducer if the case is loading the type action dot type is loading then it's going to set the loading to true and you know give me the information so you can see that in loading we have um, information which is loading is true uh, this previous state sorry this is next state yeah loading is true and action we just have type as loading we don't have anything else then the next dispatch is called once we receive the data after fetching from this API then you have this type as loaded so our reducer will be notified and reducer when it's loaded then we are just setting loader loaded to true loading to false and then we're just uh, setting the post value to action dot payload which means the new post value and you can see the type is loaded and we've got the payload information so we'll set that to posts and once we have that available as posts we can just go ahead and uh, loop through it because we are connecting our store Redux store with this component uh, with React and we, whatever we are returning we are returning post over here so that post information will be available in this dot props dot posts and we are looping through those items uh, that we have which is this right here and we are displaying the title out of it over here okay that's how it works and the Redux also provides you with an uh, extension, Chrome extension you have uh, available for Redux but in order for you to use that you need to use uh, Compose okay so what you need to do is let me just say Compose <coughs> yep So what you need to do is you need to go to your store and import compose from Redux, which Redux provides you. And over here, instead of you know directly putting that as middleware, what you can do is you can pass that inside of compose uh, like this. Okay, and you can pass this middleware here. Okay, so earlier you would just pass middleware, but now wrap it inside of Compose, and you need to use this syntax basically, which is Redux Developer Tool extension. This give this will give you access to the Redux Developer Tool extension once you pass this information along with middleware using Compose. Okay, so let's now check. So you can now see we have state available. So this is your Redux uh, extension, Chrome extension. You see you have loading, you have loaded, posts, error. You can get to see different actions that, that take place. You have the diff which tells you about the previous and the new state. So let's click on the button and see what happens. So you can see when you click on it, loading becomes false, loaded becomes true, and then post gets filled with all of the data, right? So it's easy for you to debug, easier for you to track what happened you can see the previous uh, action type also it was loading then it got loaded you can check the difference between the um, type of these loading change from true to false then loaded change from false to true <coughs> and then the post got filled with all of the data okay and different actions payload so all of the actions that you have available at this point is available here as well so you can check loading you can check what is included and loaded so all of that information is pretty helpful so that's what makes redux so brilliant guys is because uh, i would say that at first it may take some time for you to get it but once you do it is just going to be really easy for you because it gives you so much of uh, you know information in your chrome developer tool of redux then you have your logger that's available to you and then it basically gives you uh, an option to keep all of your data in one store so you can see it here but each of the component can just consume one part of it so if you have multiple data available here in store <coughs> and my home is going to consume only just posts so you can just consume posts it doesn't have to worry about all of the data so you can just do one thing at one thing at a time so that's what makes Redux uh, 
super super useful and uh, it also gives you option of great testing uh, you can test your uh, dispatch sorry um, your action creators because you know these are functions and it's easy to check uh, test functions okay guys so I hope you did like the video if you did please give a thumbs up and do subscribe to my channel if you have any questions you can leave in the comment box and I'll answer them alright and uh, I hope you like this tutorial series uh, I tried my best to keep this thing simple but in case if you still didn't understand you can leave a comment and I'll help you with that okay guys take it then bye bye